working on this project has been one of the most challenging but also best experiences of my life for many reasons. Um, sometimes I suffer from imposter syndrome where I think I'm not good enough, be it as a producer, be it as just a person. And it was a very empowering and validating experience being able to look at something in your brain, regurgitate it, communicate it to people, and watch it become something real that people celebrate and love. Like, what an honor, what a privilege. How many people can say that they did that? I went from being a little girl, and my, my brother reminded me in the week of the show that, hey, he, he said, hey, Miss South Africa, I remember when we were small, and you one day wanted to be Miss South Africa when you grew up. And then fast forward to today. And I am the first woman executive producer of Miss South Africa, the pageant. One that I think is groundbreaking and exceptional. We did such a good job. I think I took away from the, the, the whole process that I'm very proud of myself. I put a lot into what I do. Um, I put my heart and soul. There were tears. I got sick after the show. My baby got sick. Um, there was a lot of recovery required, but each and every part of it was, is worth it. What a, a trip. Like how insane that this girl from Soshanguve who watches TV and then got to go to Sun City, 30 years later has a say in this amazing platform. And we have built something new. We've set a new standard. And now it's there. And I think it will form a big part of my legacy one day when I'm no longer around. And for that, I'm just, I'm blessed.